So apparently, there were no strikers available for Arsenal to buy in the transfer window. That's why we didn't buy a striker. Or was there? In this video, let's take a look at 10 strikers that Arsenal could have signed in this summer transfer window. At number 10, Paolo Dybala. Moved from Palermo to Juventus for £23.5 million. The guy was hot last season for Palermo, scoring 13 goals. Only 21 years of age, up-and-coming superstar, they're saying, over there in Argentina. Why didn't Arsenal move for this guy? There was lots of talk that Arsenal may go in for him. Arsenal were interested in him. Delayed, he ended up at Juventus. Could be one of the signings of the summer. He was a striker that Arsenal could have got. At number nine, Charlie Austin. All right, all right, I know what you're saying. He's not world-class, and he isn't world-class, but he scored 18 Premier League goals last season. Could have possibly come in and done a job for Arsenal. You could argue that he's definitely not better than what we already have, but he could have brought a bit more sharpness to the attack and a bit more goals. Lots of teams were after him. In the end, he didn't move. A lot of them were balking after the £15 million price tag. But could Charlie Austin have done a job for Arsenal? At number eight, Simone Zaza. Now, I must admit, I hadn't heard much about this player um, until we heard that Arsenal tried to sign him on transfer deadline day. Plays for Juventus, um, was part owned by Juventus, was out on loan last season to a team called Sasulu, where he scored quite a lot of goals. Juventus brought him back. Arsenal moved for him on deadline day, had a great chance of signing him, but didn't want to pay the £22 million asking price that they were offered. Hence, we passed up on this guy. He's an Italian international. Could he have come in and done a job for Arsenal? We're never going to know, are we? Number seven, Edin Dzeko. Manchester City sent him out on loan to Roma. He's already scored goals for him. Could have been a good addition to Arsenal. All right, he didn't have a great season last year um, playing for Manchester City, but he looked like he'd gone stale there. 29-year-old Bosnian's got experience of playing in the um, Premier League and Champions League and has always been a goal scorer throughout his career. Wouldn't it have been a good move to have bought in Edin Dzeko? Would have been able to have got him fairly cheap as well to the Arsenal? Or was they considering that he's no better than Giroud? You draw your own conclusions. Number six, Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Awesome player. They say that every team that he's ever been to has always won the league. Now listen, we know he's 33 years of age. He's knocking on a bit. He can be a bit of a feisty character. But if you bought him in at Arsenal, surely he would have scored goals. And the rumours flying around were PSG were willing to sell him if they got the right price. Now, you would have had to have paid quite a lot of money for a player that you wouldn't have had much of a resale value on. But who cares if he's going to fire you to the title? At number five, Carlos Baca. This Colombian's been a prolific goal scorer in La Liga for the past couple of seasons. Only really Messi and Ronaldo scoring more goals than him. He moved this season to AC Milan for £21 million. Remember him scoring the winner in the Europa League final? This guy is an excellent footballer. £21 million. Definitely would have been an upgrade on what we've got. We passed up on him. I think a major error. Carlos Baca would have scored goals at Arsenal. At number four, Alexander Lacazette. He ended up signing a one-year extension to his contract at Lyon. We were being told at the start of the summer transfer window that £30 million would have uh, got his services. Listen, you would have had to have gone with a very high deal to bring him in, but I'm sure that if you would have gone in big for this guy, you would have got the man. Just look at the signing that Manchester United made in bringing in that youngster that they signed from Monaco. Surely Lacazette is a better player than him. And surely, if we would have bid over the odds for Lacazette, you would have been able to bring in this prolific goal scorer who scored over 30 goals last season. Chance wasted, chance missed. Lacazette stayed at Lyon. Could Arsenal have done more to have brought him in? At number three... 
This is the player that I really think Arsenal messed up on. Jackson Martinez. The guy's been banging in the goals for years for Porto. Prolific goal scorer. Remember last season when they played Bayern Munich in the Champions League, him terrorising that Bayern Munich defence. His style of football would have suited the Premier League perfectly. Instead, we waited, we dithered, we didn't go in for him. He ended up at Atletico Madrid, where he's already started off his career there with a goal. I think we missed out big time. Only £25 million. That's all it would have cost to have bought in this prolific Colombian. Yes, he is 29 years of age. There wouldn't have been a resale. But as I said before, do you care about resale if we win the Premier League? At number two, Edison Cavani. World-class player at PSG. Was always going to be a hard deal to have done. But we are being told that PSG would have been willing to sell for £50 million. It's crazy, it's over the odds, but it's reality. If you want to get a player of this quality to a club like Arsenal, you're going to have to spend over the odds. Arsenal were not prepared to do it. He's still at PSG. He started off the season with goals. An opportunity missed. At number one, Karim Benzema. It went on the saga the whole summer. Let's have it right. Benzema really wanted to stay at Real Madrid. And Real Madrid didn't really want to sell. But did Arsenal go aggressive enough to try and make a deal like this happen? Paul Merson said in a recent interview that Arsenal should have offered £80 million for, him, for the player and he may have gone. If you're going to dislodge these major players, you've got to go high over the odds. Real Madrid did it when they bought Gareth Bale. Barcelona did it when they bought Suarez from Liverpool. You're going to have to pay over the odds to bring a guy like this in. So, did Arsenal go big enough? Is 35 million or 40 million really going to get the player that's considered to be the third best striker in the world? Or should they have went in there with mad money, 50, 60, 70, even 80 million to have got the man that they really, really wanted? Did Arsenal really try hard enough to get Benzema? We'll never know. But we know one thing. We ended up with nobody. No outfield player. No striker. So I guess we're just going to have to depend on the ones we've got. We'll get behind them and hopefully they can deliver for us this season. Listen, Chuba, the whole, the whole thing is it's a mess at the moment. It's a real mess because... I, when I think about it, we uh, we had a phobia here, didn't we? Yep, and now, how much has he valued at? Fourteen million, mm. apparently. Mm. Yet yeah, we replaced him with Sonogo, who's now in in uh, playing for Ajax reserves. Well, what, yeah, is that the transfer know. policy at this club now? I mean, we we sent out these forwards on loan. We sent a uh, we got rid of Podolski as well. We got we got sent the forwards out on loan. And we bought no one. But what was the point of that? Can you tell me? Can you explain that? I mean, I'm asking you, Ty. Can you explain that? <laughs> I can't can explain. explain. I can't no, explain. Say you can't. I can't. I'm, not, you, a, I'm, not, a, I'm not a manager. But what I'm saying is, I'm disappointed like everyone else. 